Greetings, friends. Reform Stoic here with a very serious video. Probably the most serious video I've made in a very long time. Um, I debated... <laughs> it's a serious video. I debated with myself whether or not I should make this video. Here's the reasons that I decided to make it. Because I know there's a lot of people out there who are going through this, who are suffering, and they're scared, and they're looking for good information. And I have this information to offer. I'm very confident in it, and I am offering it to you who are seeking the truth of your situation if you are being gang stalked and you are looking for good information on how to protect yourself. Um, I have videos on my channel about my harassment. I have documented some video evidence of what's been happening to me. I believe some of the evidence is very good. I have exposed some specific players, some people who are very high up in the system. Um, I'm only going to give as much information on gang stalking in this video as I feel is necessary to explain to you my advice of how to deal with this. So I'd say breaking it down on an introductory level, there's like a material aspect of the end, like the physical corporations, groups involved. And I'm not, I don't feel the need to completely break down these kind of groups that tend to be involved, but I'll give an example of a few as to explain the material aspect. Freemasons, InfraGuard, private security, private military, mercenaries. Um, one of the guys that I exposed on my channel, okay, I got a video of a guy acting strange, staring at me with his hands in his pockets. I was able to identify him. He is affiliated with the Freemason Lodge, and he is affiliated with numerous private security companies. So private security, Freemasons, um, a lot of people say local police. I'll just leave it at that. There's the physical side to this, okay? These are people who are working for someone or something. And then there's a non-physical side. There's a non-material side. There is a spiritual side to this. And this has only been becoming clear to me very recently. Um, now, another thing about this that I feel like I should reveal is the useful idiot aspect where a part of their end game is to rope people into this okay and they're going to do that by convincing people that you're bad or you're an idiot or you've done something wrong or they have a reason to join in on your, on your harassment they're going to get people to think that they're doing something just and we all know about all kinds of people today who um, can feel pretty high and mighty about themselves from doing things that aren't so great. Okay, look into Milgram's experiment where um, people were administering shocks. They were told to administer a series of shocks to people who were um, given a test. And they found that 80% of people delivered the highest level of shocks. Even if they started feeling like, oh, I feel like there's something wrong about this, uh, a guy in a coat who appeared to be an authority figure would say, oh, no, 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 it's fine. Keep giving the shocks. 20% of people said, nope, screw this, I'm out. So that should just give you kind of an idea of what um, psychology has more or less proven. I mean, it's a study. I kind of go back and forth with studies. Yeah, I like studies when they benefit me, and then sometimes I don't. But let's not get lost here. Um I think all of us here know something about the nature of humanity, where people are easily misled, easily mis manipulated, and I don't want to spend too much time on this. Basically, there are physical 
entities, you know, Freemasons, police, military, private military, private security, um, neighborhood watch, okay? And then maybe they could just kind of get some average Joe Blow who isn't very smart, maybe they're on drugs, they could kind of like rope them in to uh, join in the harassment. Maybe they could recruit them, offer them drugs, offer them some things. So there's the physical side, and then there's the spiritual side. I don't know what to say about the spiritual side. Other than that, my faith is very strong. And my advice to you is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and to walk the path because gang stalking will teach you things about the questions you have about the very difficult aspects of Christ's teachings I don't get it loving my enemy how does that make sense well it's safe to say that gang stalkers are your enemy you will know that when these people are trying to harass you and get their street theater off on you you will definitely see these people as your enemy and another aspect that i feel necessary to go over is what's the end game of gang stalking it's to destroy you you are seen as an enemy of someone somebody doesn't like you and these tactics which are ultimately psyops okay when people are like why would anybody do this? Why would anybody follow you around and make a weird face at you? Uh, it's called PSYOPs. Look it up. Military PSYOPs, okay? When uh, the ATF and FBI were outside of Waco, they played, like, weird animal torture noises. Super loud to try to freak the people out inside. PSYOPs, okay? They were mooning people inside and making weird faces at them and doing all kinds of stuff, okay? That's just an example of psyops when people are gaslighting you on this i think the quickest way to shut them down is say two words buddy psyops military psyops and people like to say oh this is cia oh this is uh fbi well more or less guys it all boils down to military okay cia is military military intelligence cia military is it safe to say that in Hitler's regime, the military was a part of like what was oppressing people? The military is capable of horrible things. And our country parrots this idea of freedom. I think it's funny how people talk about North Korea. It's like, have you heard about how people in North Korea, like worship kim jong-il they all like think kim jong-un is perfect and they worship him oh it's time to say the pledge of allegiance and talk about how perfect america is and i mean and you know for a fact we were all raised on america as the best country in the world this is the best most freest country in the world anyway like i was saying everybody worships kim jong-un like and i'm not trying to like preach this, this video is kind of going all over the place i'm trying to stay focused on the topic here so what have we established there's these multiple entities physical entities corporations groups involved in gang stalking they try to rope people in like useful idiots some things you can compare this to is cointel pro look it up stasi look it up zaret sung look it up military psyops and then you can go just look at the large gang stalking community on Kuora. Okay, so there's a lot of people on Kuora. There's a lot of people on Kuora giving specific details about gang stalking, and they're all lining up with kind of this same information. And then, well, the Stasi kind of sounds like it's similar, and Cointel Pro sounds like it's similar, and Zaret Sung sounds like it's similar. And then you look into like military psyops, and it's like doing weird little things to try to mess with people's minds. And it's like, and with all of that information, you still don't think that maybe there could be something real to this whole gang stalking thing? So, this isn't about me trying to make people believe that it's real, okay? We're already about 10 minutes into the video, so we'll call that the introduction. I'm trying to get to this spiritual side of gang stalking. And I'm not going to act like I understand it. I've been having a lot of 
Strange Dreams. I've, um, I'm a little embarrassed to, to, to talk about the time synchronicity, like, you know, 747. You look at the clock, 747, 1111. I've been getting the straight a lot. One, two, three, four. Um, look, I get it. It sounds like cringe and new age. Oh, here we go. You're seeing the repeating numbers. I see them all the time. Okay. I see them like all the time. I've seen it like maybe 10, 15 times today. Um, and there's some people online who say it's demonic. Okay. It, it could be like a demonic influence trying to make you use divination or tempting you to use divination. Look, the more I try to get into the spiritual side, the more it's going to be like, oh, wow. Okay. Stoic. Here we go. Like I have a better shot of impressing people if I rattle off all the like Cointel Pro, Zeret Sung, Stasi, Neighborhood Watch, Infraguard, BlackRock. BlackRock probably has something to do with this. I don't know. They buy up all kinds of property. You know, maybe they're outsourcing their property to make it easy for gang stalkers to move. It's a lot more impressive when you go over the physical side of things. But lately, these last couple of months, this last year, maybe even ever since I got COVID last year, like, it's feeling more and more spiritual. I have this feeling that like ever since COVID or maybe before, maybe there's like levels depending on how perceptive you are. Okay, like the most perceptive people, you're like, oh, welcome to the party, bro. Like I've been battling demons since 2010, brah. Um, for me, it's like things got really weird after COVID and I actually started getting gang stalked shortly after COVID but I've had weird experiences my entire life, and it's like, really ever since I converted to Catholicism, I've noticed a lot of benefits initially. It's like God gave me a head start and helped me get off of weed and helped me get my attitude together and helped me like become a better student. And now the next season of Dragon Ball Z is starting, and like the next round of enemies is showing up, and I feel... At the risk of being called crazy and mentally ill, that there's a lot of demonic forces around. And the demonic nature of this world is starting to reveal itself to a select few. And part of what people say when they're gaslighting you about gang stalking is like, oh, what, well, you think you're special? You think you're worth it? Oh, you think you're worth all this attention? Like, dude, you're not special. You're not important. You are special. You who found this video, who's getting gang stalked, there's something about you, okay? And these people who are doing this to you, there's something about them, too. And there's a lot of them, and there's just you. One thing that comes to mind is Moths to the Flame. They're the moths, and you're the flame. You got something special, bro. And the system, if you pay close attention while you're reading through your Bible, there's all kinds of anti-establishment stuff in there, okay? First of all, the Old Testament, a lot of the Old Testament is telling the story of the failures of all these different systems of government, okay? The judges failed. The, the system of judges didn't work. And ultimately, I think monarchy, you know, you get the right king and that's the best way to go. But the kings failed as well. Even the best of the kings, they all failed. Constant failure through the Old Testament. The, the Jews failed, okay? The horrible things happened to them in the desert on the way to the promised land. They were not allowed to go into the promised land. Everybody fails. All systems of government fail and when you're getting into these political debates what we need is a monarchy we need a constitutional monarchy what we need is fascism what we need is communism what we need is democracy we've seen every single one of these systems fail okay and i think what political science people will say the correct the correct answer in the current year is that well democracy is the best of these systems and i think that's about to be proven wrong very soon <laughs> i think for those who have been paying attention it's already been proven wrong years ago 
Um, but hey, I mean, I'm not saying it's like worse than other systems. I'm just saying that people fail. Governments fail. The system fails. And yeah, if you pay close attention to your Bible, um, the powers that be, the principalities in high places, well, is it safe to say the CIA is a high place? Is it safe to say military intelligence and top-level air force is a high place and seats of authority? There's a demonic nature to the system, you guys. And it's revealing itself. And I'm not exactly sure if this video came out the way that I wanted it to go. I know some new people are coming to my channel. It's like, but aren't we going to react to Taylor Swift? I'm scared. <laughs> it's okay. We're still going to react to Taylor Swift. Um... By the way, if people can just like lighten up, there's some people who are like really trying to like tear me a new hole, like for just kind of like, I'm just trying to have fun, dude. Okay, yeah, I'm getting gang stalked, by the way, and uh, I'm just trying to have fun. So <laughs> if you can just lighten up a little bit. So there's a spiritual aspect, and I don't know what to say about it, but what I do know to say about it is I think the people who are going to have the hardest time with gang stalking are people who haven't found Christ. Because this is something very evil that's happening to you, okay? And it's going to be very difficult to prove, okay? Just standard stuff. Get security cameras around your house. Um, maybe start wearing a body cam film all the time. It is a good idea to get a YouTube channel. It's a great way to document your evidence that you've gathered. And, you know, I'll just add that, like, try to keep in mind, be reasonable as far as, like, what constitutes proof, okay? You're a lawyer now. Your, your life has become a trial. And imagine that, like, really good lawyers are trying to disprove everything. So if you just film a guy walking down the sidewalk and you know it's a gang stalker, but the the video evidence just plays out as like some guy walking down the sidewalk, you know, document it, keep it for yourself. You might recognize that guy later and it might help you. But when you're trying to like bring a bunch of attention to yourself on YouTube, maybe get some really good evidence, like a former CIA agent dressed up as a mailman. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. Um... The best advice that I could give you guys is that this is purifying you. This is teaching you to follow Christ fully. You are chosen in a way. You have been chosen to experience something very difficult. And I think the people who are crumbling under the pressure... And one more time, the goals of this... They want to destroy you, okay? I didn't elaborate. They want you to get committed to a mental hospital. And that can happen when you're blah, 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 being like, oh my gosh, look at that guy on the sidewalk. Somebody's, somebody's going to try to get you committed to a mental hospital, okay? Slow to anger, calm, collected, always rejoicing, always joyful, okay? Scripture is going to be your weapon here. Um, they're going to try to get you to break the law. They're going to try to get you to assault somebody so you can go to jail, prison. They want you in a mental hospital. They want you in jail or prison. Okay, so slow to anger, not seeking wrath, not meeting evil with evil. Loving your neighbor, loving your enemies. Scripture. All of the hard answers that you've ever had about scripture, gang stalking will answer every single one of them. They would love for you to kill yourself. Obviously, don't do that. Um, and I don't want to scare you, but let's just put it like this, okay? When you're, when you're doing a lot of research about this online, you will find a lot of misinformation, by the way. Be wary. Take things with a grain of salt. People will say that they can't touch you, they can't do anything to you, it's um, like no touch, torture, look, just always be safe, okay? Just like be aware of your surroundings. 
it's this weird balance because yeah when they're in your when they're in the background trying to get their like street theater off on you it's like you kind of don't want to like over observe things because then you'll see some guy doing street theater and it's like eh, i kind of wish i wouldn't have saw that so you know wear sunglasses and kind of like mind your own business but be aware of your immediate surroundings guys because i'm not going to tell you that if people had an opportunity to like hurt you and kidnap you or do god knows what i'm not gonna i'm not gonna like tell you that that is not possible okay some people who get gang stalked turn up missing or murdered all right i'm not trying to scare you i'm going through this with you man so for the most part it's no touch they can't touch you they want you to destroy yourself they want you to end up in jail in a mental hospital to kill yourself and you know some people say oh my gosh it's causing like it's causing you're depleted oxytocin or you're getting too much cortisol blah, blah blah bro i would just offer to you rambo 007 like is is rambo like dying from cortisol when he's fucking being rambo <laughs> okay you're rambo now you're a lawyer now you're a warrior of christ now you're a lot of things now okay people are like you think you're special you think you're special you think you're special the people saying that are not special you my friend are special i'm making this video for you this isn't about me i'm gonna be all right i've been dealing with this i've been dealing with this for years now and apparently that ain't shit i found some people online who say they've been dealing it, uh, with it for 40 years i would say go to my community tabs posts and just like scroll down okay there's some really good information in my community tabs post you won't have to look that far. Yeah, you're going to find some, like, goofy shit, too. But, yeah, if you want some more information on this, I do recall, like, I shared this, like, high-level military dude. This guy who's, like, former, I don't know, Green Beret or something, and he's getting gang-stalked, and he's got good information, okay? People trying to gaslight you saying that, like, this doesn't exist, there's too much information now. There's too many YouTube channels. There's too many people on Kuora. There's too many people talking about this. And yeah, the people involved, they're going to keep trying to gaslight you, but this is coming to light, okay? We're living in a fascinating time. Just just about anybody, even people who are still like ha are anchored in the regular world, you're living day by day too, aren't you? You're just waiting to see what happens next, aren't you? Ever since COVID. I think a lot of people know that something's up, guys. And this program is very nasty. Now, keep in mind that these tactics, these gang stalking tactics can be used by anybody. So you could you could have popped up on the radar of a lo local crime network, local gang, small gang, small like local Freemason lodge, or it can be something bigger. Okay. Or it can be like the full-on program with the fusion centers and everything okay watch my latest po or go to my live tabs and watch my uh podcast on fusion centers and the shadow cia so how much advice have i given here i feel like it's about time to wrap it up um the gospels my friends the entire bible is important the entire bible is important but you need you need the good stuff right now, okay? The the axe that's behind the glass that's like, oh, it's time to smash that glass and get the axe. You need the Gospels. What did Jesus Christ say? And I'm not devaluing people who had the Holy Spirit, but the Gospels, Luke, John, Matthew, Mark, you need the Gospels. You need to hear what Jesus Christ said and you need to follow it because these things like being quick to anger and wrath, it's going to land you in jail. Okay. It's, it's coming into immediate play in your life. A lot of people say that Jesus was gang stalked and sure, I'm sure he was. It's just that I guess it doesn't really matter for Jesus, you know? He's the son of God. He's God. 
it's not going to affect him like it affected you, like it affects you. But ultimately, as Christians, we are all trying to become more like God. That is not wrong to say. Now, to say that you could ever achieve that, that's where you get heretical. But, you know, God is here and you're way down here. Okay, I'm sorry. I wish I could like... Yeah, we're, we're so incredibly, infinitely far away from God. But this is all I have in the camera, okay? This is like a bajillion, bajillion miles away, okay? You need to get as close as you can get, guys. Um, When you're getting gang stalked, look, the hard things like cutting out pornography, I'm trying. I'm trying. I quit weed. Anything that's a sin, like... You're, you're in deep water. You know you're in deep water. You know bad things are happening to you. And you're going to need God's favor. And you're going to need to be good. And you're going to need to do what the Bible says. And you might not understand why that is. I think a lot of you might already be really close. Like if you're already a Christian and you're getting gang stalked, it's like this advice is going to be falling on good ready ears i guess <laughs> like you gotta walk the path of christ the experience of getting gang stalked is like hey you are being called to pick up your cross and follow christ he said not to worry about what you're gonna eat how are you gonna eat they want you homeless they would love for you to be homeless they would love for you to panic and waste a bunch of money and end up homeless. Jesus said not to worry about what you're going to wear or what you're going to eat. Um, they're going to try to affect your ability to work and make money. If you got a lot of money, they're going to try to figure out how to drain your finances. Jesus said not to worry about money. They're going to try to ruin your reputation and tarnish your reputation and start a smear campaign against you. Jesus said that you will be persecuted like I am. For do you think that you're deserving of more than your master? I wish I remembered the exact quote, but it's something like that. You know what I mean? Like, you will be persecuted for following me. Because I was persecuted. And you think you're better than me? Something like that, okay? It's close enough. Go look it up. Um, and that's the gist of it. The gospel, you might you might have been living this regular life, but it's like, you know, I like reading the gospels and I'm a Christian, but I just don't know how it applies to me. Well, guess what, gang stocky, my fellow gang stocky, you're in a new kind of school where you're going to learn. You're going to learn why the words of Christ are the most important words that were ever spoken. And if anybody ever says they're a better teacher than Jesus Christ, even if it's just academically, you're going to learn why they're a complete hack. Because there's no better teacher than Christ. It's time to walk the path, my friends. Do not be anxious about tomorrow. I just made a video on um, Fruits of the Spirit versus the New Age. Watch that if you haven't seen it. Breaking down the biblical framework of positivity. Telling you not to worry, man. How do I not worry? How do I not worry? God commands you not to worry. And you know, don't like worry about not worrying. Like, hey, sometimes you're going to worry, okay? You're not going to be perfect, okay? You're not, you're never going to be perfect. So it's not like, I am, I'm getting gang stalked, so I am becoming one with the perfectness. I am, I've transcended sin. It's never going to happen. But you will reach higher levels than other people around you, okay? This is an opportunity for you. And I know that that sounds screwed up. It's like, wait a minute, you're a gang stalker. No. No, friends, I assure you that everything I'm saying is good info for somebody who's really being gang stalked, who's not, I'm not messing with you, man. And that, and that goes right along with the nature of the Bible. Love your enemies. These people need love. Anybody who would work for this program, I would recommend that you try to like, you know, 
if there's like a certain area where you you know they're gonna be maybe just kind of like don't look at that area but if you do see these people and they're doing their little street theater and you're looking at them just i'd recommend no reaction but maybe you can get to a point where you just maybe a little god bless you i mean if they're like in um in a distance where they can hear you god bless you have a wonderful day because hey man playing tough guy beating them up two two things are going to happen one you're going to win and you're going to go to jail with an assault charge or two you're going to lose and they're going to beat the shit out of you or three it's not really one person and you're going to get jumped and then they're really going to beat the shit out of you <laughs> so look guys a lot of people talk about this like it's completely hopeless. And some of those people are the demoralization agents. They want you to feel hopeless, man. And when you have unbreakable faith, when you have an unbreakable sense that everything's going to be okay. And it's hard. And like, look, I'm still, I still have bad days, okay? I still have times. Keep in mind that... Um, it's going to get to points where like the harassment stops for a little bit. Don't ever celebrate too early, okay? It's kind of like um like it, what, what do you do when your router doesn't work? You unplug it for a little bit and you plug it back in, okay? It means that you're doing good. When it stops for a little bit, they know that it's not phasing you, so they want to give you a false sense of like everything's good again and then start it again and then you're like oh no i thought it was over that tends to work okay you'll you'll be handling it handle it like a boss it's like okay street theater fuck that guy just looking forward not caring nope 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 taking out the trash not looking not caring back in my apartment loving myself feeling good once you get that down they're gonna stop for a while and then they're gonna start it back up okay you just need to always be ready, okay? Enjoy the days when it's not happening, but you need to be hardened. You need to live and breathe scripture. You need to live the word. You need to pick up your cr cross and follow Christ because the end is nigh, my friends. Oh my gosh, is it in a week? Is it in a year? Is it in five years? Is it, is it in 10 years? This is where a lot of Christians screw up, okay? This is where Christians have always been getting gaslit. I thought it was the end of the world, chuds. I thought it was the end of the world. I don't know when it's coming, but what they did to us ever since, you know, 2020 and all that stuff that I shall not name, ever since the Lord Voldemort times, okay, things are happening. A lot of people are talking about how it's like, man, it seems like the good times are over. It seems like the good times are over and there's there's a dark cloud over society. Many dark things are being revealed. Relations between men and women are not good and employment is not good and politics are extremely divided and this country is extremely divided and we're at war dark clouds are forming and dark things are happening my friends and i feel like we are in a very trying time of tribulation and you who are being gang stalked you are special there is something about you that triggers the system, that triggers the world. I don't know exactly what it is. It might be that you're not easy to manipulate. You're not easy to influence. You're not easy to break. You have too much of an influence. You spoke out on something. You know too much. You've said too much. You are special. You have something special, my friends. And ultimately, the Bible tells you to submit to the authorities now why is that because you don't ever want to go full uncle ted when you go full uncle ted everybody's gonna be like wow that guy was crazy and that guy was evil and he hurt innocent people and oh look at his manifesto oh but he's a bad guy so pfft, throw it in the trash okay if you have a manifesto that's not really <laughs> it just doesn't sound good when you're like hey what are you doing i'm writing a manifesto oh yikes um Whatever your book is, whatever your work, whatever your message, people will receive it a lot better if it's like, hey, he never laid a hand on anybody. He was peaceful. He was a good person. He smiled at his gang stalkers and said, God bless you. 
and he donated and he was always good and if anything happens to you which i hope it doesn't praying it doesn't happen to you pray it doesn't happen to me and guess what it probably won't i will say that it probably won't you gotta have some faith um people will be like hey you know what that guy was for real and his message was for real you see I have this saying that God doesn't tell you to do the hokey pokey. You put your right foot in, you put your left foot out, and you never sin, and you shake it all about. Do whatever I say, or I'll blow you into a million pieces. That's what the Bible's all about. Like, no. It's actually something called the divine command theory. Is it good because God says it good? Is it good because God says it's good? Or is God saying it's good because it's actually good? It's basically both at the same time. But I guess what that would mean is that God's saying it's good because it is good. There are rewards for following the word of God to a T. Everything, loving your enemies, all the hard stuff. Not seeking revenge. Submitting to the authorities, even the corrupt authorities, okay? So for me, that means I'm not a set of Vacantist Catholic, okay? I think the Pope is fine, I think the mistake a lot of Catholics are making is that you idolize your conservative politics. Now, I'm keeping an eye on the Pope. I don't agree with a lot of what he says. I see that there's a lot of corrupt bishops. I'm keeping an eye, okay? And if three years from now, the the church just, like, everything's a clown mass and, like, crazy stuff starts happening and, like, heresy starts happening in the authority and it's going unchecked, then I'll be forced to change my position. But right now, it's like, yeah, there's and there's been popes in the past who people don't agree with. And like, I trust the system of the church. I trust the authority of the church. I believe that it is Christ's church. Okay, Peter, the first pope who was given authority from Christ. And I believe that the gates of hell will not overcome it. A lot of people are like, well, Stoic, didn't you used to be this Protestant who, like, radically Catholic bashed? I realized the final red pill, that there is a lot of evil trying to, to, trying to subvert the Catholic Church, okay? Where you find the purest good, you will find the purest evil. They, the demons want in. The demons want in the church. They're trying to bring it down. And it's very scary and confusing for a lot of Catholics right now. And that's what they want. That's what they want. It's like, yes, your church is... You think this is God's church. You think this is Christ's church. It's nothing. Look what we've done to your church. They haven't done that much to the church, guys. Okay? Because all the stuff trying to help refugees... When you say it's evil trying to help the poor... You guys... You're idolizing conservative politics, okay? It's way, like, when everybody on 4chan is debating, it's like, oh, well, your religion is cucked because you're trying to help the poor. Like, you guys, it's not all about, like, what 4chan thinks, okay? So, there's some problems in the church, but it's not, it's not the end. I believe that the the fire will not overcome. The fire of hell will not overcome Christ's church. And if at some point I do think that the Pope is just straight up evil and unspeakable things are happening, then I would basically move to the set of vacantist position. And it would be like, okay, well, the people are the church. And that's just what it is. Right now, I'm, I'm rocking with Trent Horn and the Council of Trent. But anyway... We're 40 minutes deep into this video, guys. Um, but hey, if, you, if you're getting gang stalked, like, you got time to listen to all this. I would recommend that you join the Catholic Church, that you go to confession, that you take this faith seriously, because it's the most purifying of faiths. Praying the rosary, it's a great way to put some time in, to show your dedication, to pay off some of your debt for what you've done. Being held accountable in confession experiencing the mass like if you go to the mass after going to some like like what's it called um i don't know listening to the band at like a, a baptist church i'm not trying to be rude dude i just the mass is beautiful okay it's not about putting down other churches the mass is beautiful go to the mass take part in the eucharist confess 
pray the rosary. And what's going to happen is, this is the last thing I have to say, as far as the spiritual aspect, because I'm having trouble describing it to you, it's just going to make me sound crazy if I try to describe it, okay? As if I haven't already sounded crazy. But I'm talking to you who's getting gang stalked. When you start praying the rosary, when you confess, you'll get a couple of things, like it helped me get off a of weed, but then you're going to be like, wait a minute, I'm having horrible nightmares, I'm seeing strange things, it, it feels like this is like causing weird, evil, demonic things to happen around me, maybe this isn't right. No, you're starting to perceive the evil that's already been around you your entire life. You're perceiving evil that was already there. And the way that you can get that evil away from you is stop allowing it into your life through sin. Okay, there's something that you got to change. And it's been an unmovable object for you your entire life. You got to start chipping away at it, buddy. Favor with God is the best thing you could possibly have going for you right now. Because let's just take a minute to appreciate like, wow. How many people are involved in this? How high does this go up? Like, wow. This gang stalking stuff? Wow. It's spiritual. It's real. It's all these groups. It's real people. Real groups. They exist. But the fact that these people could be a part of this, and then the fact that you're the target of it, there's more to it, guys. And you're going to figure it out. If, like, if you're the real deal... And you found Christ and you and you start walking this path, you'll start seeing it. You'll see it for yourself, my friends. Um, the spiritual nature of things is starting to be revealed. You, when you were a kid, it's like, oh, life is normal. You know, Carlos Mencia says God doesn't exist. Joe Rogan doesn't say, he says God doesn't exist. Changing channels, blah, 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 blah. Going to school, oh, life is normal. Okay, no, everything on the television is pumping toxic into children's heads and then you go to a school where at best the teachers are incompetent and at worst they're evil and they're submitting to like intelligence programs and feeding you to weird experimental shit society is evil okay and on some level it always has been but um no the united states has sunk into something the anglo-american establishment basically the west has sunk into something very demonic and it's being revealed to those with eyes to see i made this video for you you guys okay i was starting to get some clout for making taylor swift i'm, I'm like a super famous reactor right now okay maybe you didn't realize but some of my taylor swift videos got 200 views i'm throwing it all away <laughs> i'm sacrificing my taylor swift reactor clout to help you guys because i believe that this will help you and I think it's going to be good for me, for my favor with God, um, to put this information out there. So, God bless you, my friends. I think someday, I think someday you'll be glad that this happened to you. That sounds pretty crazy. Well, I'm already kind of there, bro. Like, I always knew I had something to offer and it wasn't being acknowledged. And, you know, yeah it's being acknowledged a little bit i got i got some of you guys are very kind like thank you thank you for everybody who's been helping me through these times and you're like being complimentary on my videos i really appreciate it it's bringing out the best in me and it'll bring out the best in you it's like hey what's goku gonna do if uh he doesn't have anybody to battle man just sit around on the couch all day be like man i got all this power and what am i gonna do kill him with kindness guys follow the word of god walk the path it's time. It's easy to like, you know, preach and say all these things, but um, God is calling you to action. Bzz, no, it's time to get up off of the couch and pick up your cross and follow Christ. You don't have a choice anymore. And it's for the best. God bless you, my friends. I hope this information finds you well. Cheers. God bless.